Hello, it's Karen here. Welcome back. And today I'm going to do a review of a product that I absolutely love. I think you're going to see how much I love them when you see how many of these things I've got. I am talking Revolution Chocolate Eyeshadow Palettes. They're absolutely brilliant. I first came across them. I was doing some market research with a big cosmetics company. I was looking in store at this display of um, Revolution, I Heart Revolution stuff, and I, I thought, well, that's too young for me. I said, I'd love to use that, but I just don't think I'm the target audience for it at all. But I can tell you, Revolution, I Heart Revolution is for everyone. And it was the eyeshadow palettes that I really like the look of. I thought they looked so cute. I love the colours. I was a bit like, why can't I just buy a single shade of eyeshadow? Why do I have to buy, uh, you know, massive, big, plasticky palettes? but they have lasted me for ages. I've had all of these just about under two years, which is as long as you want to keep them. I've got so many because I've bought some of these um, holiday boxes and uh, Christmas boxes that you seem to get loads of free ones in, come the, you know, or, or extra bonus ones. And uh, obviously I bought quite a few in the sale as part of those gift packages. So I have got a lot. They retail normally about £9 per palette from Superdrug or direct from iHeart Revolution. So let's get stuck in. I'm just going to whiz you through the collection. It's not going to be a detailed review. It's not going to be this is what it looks like on. Just to give you an idea about what the colours in each palette look like. Now let's start with the older ones. This is one of the older ones called White Chocolate. You'll see it's a bit older because when I open it up she tries. Um, you've got the highlighter palette and uh, that one down the bottom there as well are larger than the rest of the other colours. You also have the colours, um, the names of the shades are actually on a piece of plastic here in the lid. I always keep these pieces of plastic in because it does protect um, the palettes if, like me, you drop them quite a lot. So that's what you're getting in white chocolate. Uh, really nice neutral colours there, nothing offensive, that's a really good starter look, something if you want to pack in your suitcase, uh, I think those shades will go with practically anything, but you do get those highlighters, they're um, slightly larger than the other shades in the palette, so really nice starter selection there. But moving on to another one of the older look ones that have, again, you don't have the shade names printed on the palette. You have them here on the plastic sheet. This one is chocolate orange. Now, these do smell a little bit like the, the name implies. So, yeah, there's certainly a chocolate orange smell. What I love about these is if, say, I'm wearing an orange scarf that day and I just want to pick that out a bit in the makeup without literally wearing orange makeup you can kind of tone your makeup to suit your look so uh, if I was going for more warmer shades I would pick up this palette lots of beautiful autumnal shades in there as well chocolate orange there we go right this next one is mint so what can you guess that's going to be like it are shades of green you've got the highlighters there um, you've got a kind of a nice tealy shade there really beautiful again if you're wearing greens if you're wearing browns very warm really beautiful colors there um, very very easy to wear I think for a lot of people particularly if you've got blue eyes that green sometimes really helps a blue eye pop so that's a great one as well that's your mint this one has been used quite a bit this is salted caramel so actually you're going to see I've dropped the <laughs> palette at some point. This is what they look like when they've had a lot of use so that might give you an idea of what to expect after two years pretty solid use. So as you see again um, kind of going through to the pan there at the bottom of that particular shade that I use a lot. Um, lots of beautifully again neutral shades. I do like that tone of blue in the middle um, but yeah really useful as you can see I've worn that one a lot. That's a great daily look if you just want to pick something up to wear um, without thinking too much about it. And I guess with these, I would tend to use about five shades um, in the daytime. Mixing, they blend beautifully, they last all day long, so they're so easy to use if you're not used to working with colour. Right, now let me move on to the newer um, style of palette, which as you see has the names printed on them. So this one is Red Velvet, another one I've worn a lot. You wouldn't think 
you would wear this a lot when you look at the outside of that but I do wear a lot of this colour I've got some jeggings in that colour and a bag that I tend to match up with so again you'll see I've used that quite a lot um, but really beautiful colours the brights I don't tend to go for as much in that pink but certainly lovely transitional shades in there really like those plummy red tones um, what you get in these palettes is you get a lot of matte shades you get a lot of highlighter shades and you get shimmer shades to either use as a highlighter or actually use on the eye itself um, right in the centre there to give you a real pop so that's red velvet a real favourite of mine as you can see Next one, another one that's great with um, blue eyes, because I think it just helps um, those eyes pop, is Violet, simply called Violet. There's your box, and here are the shades. Again, you'll see I have used those quite a lot. Um, lots of purpley tones, lots of pinks, um, quite a few neutrals. Really easy one to use, great with blue eyes, great with green eyes as well, actually, that. So that's Violet. Moving on, you never thought I had so many, did you? And there's so many more to come. We have got Lemon Drizzle. Looks a bit like the white chocolate one, but it's um, lemon tone there instead of the, the nude tone there. And inside this one, surprise, surprise, lots of lemon tones. We have some pink there. We have some neutrals. We have lots of lovely sparkly shades there as well. It's not all matte. So lots of ways of really playing with the colours and making your eyes pop on that one. So again, I've used that one surprisingly a lot. Given I've got blonde hair, sometimes I shy away from yellow tones, but this works really, really well. So that is Lemon Drizzle. Now let's move on. I think I've used this one quite a lot as well. Cranberries and chocolate. Um, I kind of like the fact, again, as you can see, you can pick these out immediately from your collection. If you think you you, you kind of want to match this, this sort of shade and wear with what you've got on during the day, you can just pick out uh, a palette to match. Um, so this cranberries and chocolate, again, as the name suggests, cranberry tones, very warm, plummy tones again. Lovely black tone there, which I do use for the night time. I will build that up in the corner of the eye for a real smoky look. Use that under the eye as well. Um, so that's a really useful shade there. Um, nice, nice tones, nice shades. Very, very useful. Very, very wearable. Lots of good neutrals in that one. So that was cranberries and chocolate. This one, I can tell you just by looking at it, it's going to fall apart as I pick it up because I've used this one an insane amount of times. When you look at this case, you wouldn't think that would be that wearable, but it doesn't really reflect what's inside. This is Macaroon. I think I got this one with one of those um, Christmas gift sets. So this is going to come off because I dropped it and it broke. And this is, again, what you're going to get after about two years of heavy use. So you're seeing a lot of the pans underneath. Still loads of use in it, to be honest. Um, lots of gorgeous shimmery tones here. So unlike the case that's got that very bright uh, blue tone in it, you've got some lovely neutral kind of gorgeous subtle greens here, subtle blues, um, some nice highlighters, really, really useful as you can see. I've worn that so much. It's great with khakis, any colours like that works really well. So that is Macaroon. Right, we're on the homeward straight now, not that many to do. This is Strawberry Cheesecake. It's kind of an all-in-one shade here on the, the, the pan, which is nice. Um, and let's have a look at this one. This is mainly pinks. So Strawberry Cheesecake, mainly pinks, a few browns. Again, really great, great for spring, great for summer when you don't want such a heavy look, although you can use this tone to add a lot of definition in the eye. So that is a very, very useful, beautiful palette for those pink toned looks that you're going for there. Excellent. What have we got next? This is my nighttime one. I love this one. This is Cookies and Cream. Gorgeous. And again, you are going to get a waft or a suggestion of what that's supposed to smell like. And this one, as you can see, some really strong looks here. 
I did use this for a 70s night. I went for the full blue eye makeup look, but surprisingly, you can actually use this blue eye makeup to great effect, even if you don't want to go um, big on the 70s vibe. I've got some lovely deep shades in here, really good for smoky eye looks, and some very bright highlighter shades as well in that. So again, a very, very useful palette for the evening or from a stronger look, or if you've got, uh, you know, maybe dark hair would, would, would suit these looks as a daytime look as well so that is cookies and cream love the case on that one as well moving on to cotton candy which i stole from my daughter i said you must have one of these i'll buy one for you and then i i kind of stole it because oh, you know i'm going to use it more than more than she does i really wanted a gray tone and there's a gray in there um again a very subtle spring look a very light look on this if you don't want to appear that you're wearing strong shades this is very very subtle very very easy to wear um beautiful slightly shimmery tones in this one but with some mattes as well so again a really easy look you can't really go wrong with that as a as an experimental one just to try out some lighter looks so that one was cotton candy right last but one is you can tell by the box fruit and nut reminds you of a certain chocolate brand i think that color love this this palette on that that looks great and this one again some gorgeous tones i love this blue here this kind of tealy blue there's some great goldy warm coppery tones in here i'm trying not to reflect too much in the mirror there so apologies if you're losing some color um but that's absolutely lovely. I love the bright tones in this. Oh, I really have. I'm going to move around there. So I'll get this right. Gorgeous pinks, gorgeous blues, very, very warm, very, very usable. Great summer shades in this one. Absolutely love that. That is Fruit and Nut. Last but not least, we have got this gorgeous peanut butter cup and yes it does smell like uh, a famous uh, brand of uh, peanut butter chocolate that you'll probably know um, just take the little thing out there and again yes it is oranges it is browns it is this gorgeous warm tone that is reminiscent of, of uh, peanut butter chocolate it's, it's absolutely lovely smells divine really does smell like peanut butter chocolate and again as you see I've got a lot of use out of that for those warmer things if you're wearing a lot of tan or a lot of brown that is the the palette I will reach for there so another great one to choose so a very quick whistle stop tour of my collection um, do check out some other videos that will give you some more in-depth looks on how to apply that's not my specialism I'm afraid I would just be a hor horrible mess if I tried to do that but if you're interested I use artist brushes to apply my eye makeup because they blend so well and they work so well with these gorgeous high quality revolution palettes I mean they're so surprising for the price how well they work so I hope you um you, you're inspired to experiment and maybe buy one check them out or buy one of the gift boxes that's a good way of getting a few shades to start off with and a few different palettes anyway please do like this video share this video um do like me here on youtube and uh, i'll be back again soon with some more reviews some more hints tips and tricks till then take care bye